Okay, this is a quick tip on how to draw functions and their inverses using a TI calculator. A uh, couple things that we do is we're working on composition of functions and finding inverses. Calculator can help us a lot with the drawing of them. But it's a little bit complicated, so I've written out the steps here. First thing you do is you're going to enter your function in the calculator under the y equals button. That's at the top left. Then you're going to hit graph to see your function. Now, to graph the inverse of the function, we're going to use several new keys that we haven't used before. You'll hit the second and then the draw key. The draw key is written in blue and it's right above PRGM. So you'll hit second and then draw. Choose option number eight. You can just hit eight on the keyboard. That's for draw inverse. Then you'll hit the VARS key, V-A-R-S. That will go to the variables that you want to use. And you're going to use the y variables. That's a choice. The y variables are the variables that relate back to your y equals. Choose one, which is function, because what you have done is you have drawn a function, or you graphed a function. Then choose the function you want to see, which would be perhaps just the first one, y1. And then hit the enter key. and the calculator will draw the inverse function of your original function. That's about all there is to it. And what you can do is you can start to look at all of the different functions that we'll be calculating and see what the general shape will be. We can cover that in a separate video, but just as a reminder, the PowerPoint that we have online gives you the general shape of eight functions. So you can use this to do specific functions and the general shape of the functions has been covered in a PowerPoint but those general shapes should give you a clue as to what you should expect to see in these specific cases.